Welcome to another exciting tutorial from Spiffy Network. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to navigate to the spiffy360.com website so you can browse our themes, um, themes that other people have uploaded or um, even upload your own. So starting out, here we are at the home page of the spiffy360.com. Um, you'll notice right here is just some basic information there is links to the Wii themes, the PS3 themes, and then links back to the Xbox site. Um, it'll also show how many Xbox themes there are um, and how many users we have on the website. Also the social networks. Um, you can tweet or like us. Um, if you do appreciate our sites and what we do for the community um, and you do have a Facebook account, please click on the like and like us this will like the Spiffy Network and not just the Spiffy360.com. Um, over here you'll notice the categories. You can click on these and it'll show just the site news um, or if you want 360 updates uh, you can click on that and it'll just show those. Now if we go down a little bit you'll find these polls. Um, once you're logged in you can take these polls. Um, we'll randomly change them every once in a while and then if we go further down, there's the recent Xbox theme, the most downloaded, recently updated, and just a random one that we will show you. Um, we do have ads on the um, website. Um, I appreciate if you don't do ad blockers or anything, if you do have them there. Um, the site is free, and in order to keep it that way, we do require these ads to be shown um, and clicked on maybe once in a while. And if that doesn't happen, we may not have the funds to keep up support on the website. Now let's go back over to keys here. And one fun thing about this website, um, it's only on the Xbox One. It doesn't apply to the Wii or the PS3 sites. But on the Xbox One, you can actually unlock certain keys um, that will unlock maybe an arcade game for you to play or a video, a funny video, or some music, or something like that. The keys are only for registered members, uh, so you will have to register if you want to um, participate in those. Now let's move over to, over to the themes here. This one basically shows all of the themes um, for the NXC dashboard, the freestyle, or whatever else. Um, if you want to choose a certain one you can choose in this drop down right here. If you're looking for a default dashboard you can do NXE and it'll only show those ones. Um, or you can just go here and find them in the drop down and it will basically do the same exact thing. Uh, if you want to find a certain creator you can choose that in the drop down um, and then how you want them sorted. If you want to find the newest ones or the highest rated or the ones that are downloaded the most, you can do it that way. Now on the resources page, um, that's only for members only. Um, basically it's a collection of different images that you can use for your themes. The support page, um, over here you can make the donations if you wish, and the wallpapers if you want to download and support the website, you can download those. Uh, we've recently added these ones right here. Uh, Firefox Personas, if you want to download those. And then our partner sites and support us. If you would like to put these images in your form signatures or whatever, you can grab them right here and then save them and upload them wherever. And the most recent section is the tutorials, uh, which of course is hopefully where you're watching this. Um, unless you're just watching it from our Spiffy Network channel, um, you can find them that way as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and register right now. Let's go ahead and pick a password.
All right, so once you've entered in your information that you want to use, go ahead and register. Now, once you do register, you will need to go into your email and then verify your registration by clicking on the link that it sends you. And then at that point, you will be registered on the website. We'll just give it a little bit of time here to do everything it needs to. All right, and you'll notice right here we have unlocked a site key um, just for registering. So if we go over here to keys, you can see we are now a Spiffy user. You have registered on the website, and now we have these videos that you can watch and this music also. Um, for the music, you know, open the jukebox here. And now we can play these different songs unlocked in our jukebox if we want to listen to some music. And uh, just for watching this, um, as you have noticed, we have unlocked another key um, by accessing the jukebox. So there is a tip for you of how to unlock that key. Um, you're welcome. Let's go to forum here. Now on the forums, we've got the shout box. Uh, you can just chat with other people. If you're wanting support um, for issues or anything else on how to do stuff, uh, please don't put in the shout box because they will be removed um, if we do notice them. Just go ahead and come down here to the help me forums and then post your help or question or issue, whatever in here. Now on the forums, Anything regarding the website, information or suggestions, all of the site polls that are added will be put in here. Um, unlock keys if you want to discuss or try and get some tips on how to unlock certain keys, you can post in there. The RxE dashboard, once that is released, we will support themes for it and they will be pu published in here. Or if you just want to chat about it, you can uh, post in the RxE dashboard forms. And here's the freestyle ones. If you're working on a beta theme, um, you want input or testers, go ahead and post it in here and a link to download it so we can test it out and see what you're working on. And then once you have finished with it, then you can add it to the website and it will be added in the theme section. Now this themes one, you cannot add new threads. Uh, if you try, it'll just say denied. Um, in order to add a theme to that section, the website does it automatically. Uh, once you add your theme through the admin add theme section. So that's pretty much it. Um, the NXC dashboard, um, all these other sections you can go in and post to. And then the others, tutorials and resources, if you make a tutorial or anything like that, go ahead and post it in there. Um, show your stuff if you want to show your game setup or anything like that. Uh, go ahead and just post pictures in here. Um, chat about anything. And then the Wii Loader themes and the PS3 themes will simply link to those other websites of ours. Now let's go back to the resources section. And as you can see, we can now actually access these. Um, you can click on them to see a larger image. And you're welcome to use any of these in your projects. Um, or you can find categories such as backgrounds, or animals and then you can use these for your projects. If you have something you want to share, um, I do recommend the highest quality possible. Also a PNG with transparency is always good. Um, and then go ahead and see if it's already in the website. If we don't have it, go ahead and add it yourself. And you can do that right here, clicking on add image. Put in the image name, choose your image. If it is an adult image, um, go ahead and check the box and uh, credit if there's any credit if you didn't make it yourself go ahead and put the name in there choose a category subcategory and then you can add it um, okay so let's go back to let's go back home let's 
go ahead and click on this Firefox 4 link. Okay, the test is over now. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. And as you notice, we have unlocked another site key. Um, so I have already given you two free keys of how to unlock them. Um, and as you notice, if you do have your speakers turned up, you will get a random comment from a portal game. So, let's go back to our keys here and check it out. And now we have unlocked this. So, let's go to the admin. If you just click on the admin link, um, this is where you can go in and edit your profile, choose a new password, choose a new email, or choose one of the site themes. If you choose random, um, whenever you log in, you'll just get a random theme. Let's go ahead and choose dark. The whole site and the forum will change for your theme. Um, as you can see, this one's a little bit darker, has a different cursor. Um, and you can just play around with these to find what you like the best. Um, the number in parentheses is how many people are using that theme. Uh, so you can kind of see which one's the most popular. I personally like the portal one. This is what I use all the time. I just kind of like how it's laid out. So go ahead and choose your favorite one. Um, this is your IP, current IP address. So if you come to the website and you're at work, um, you can copy this IP address and paste it in here. And then essentially what that'll do is when you're at work, it'll change to the at work theme automatically. It won't show any of the adult themes and it won't show avatars or signatures I believe on the forum. Just to try and keep things as simple as possible um, while you're browsing the site at work. So this is what the at work theme looks like. So it's very simple. It even changes the title to site. So it's very generic. Um, and this is what I use for browsing the website at work. It just keeps things very simple. Um, or if you do like the simplicity of it, you can simply choose it as your main theme to use. So let's go ahead and choose the portal one again. We'll get rid of that. Oh yeah, if you want to view adult themes, you want to check this box right here. And let's see if there's any that show up here. Okay, so you'll just get this right here. Um, if it shows that, you must enable adult themes in your profile, and this is where you do it. Just check that, update, and then it'll show those images. Now, while we're on this page right here, now on this pop-up, um, it kind of gives information about these themes, um, the date they were updated or added, the version of them and how many downloads they have. The version, anytime someone updates a new version of their theme, they have the option to increase that version number so you can kind of see if it's a newer version than what you already have. Um, on the votes, you can click on this. It'll bring up the voting. You can give your vote for that theme. If it doesn't already have any stars, it'll just have the vote here and you can just click on that. You can also just click on the stars to to bring it up. Uh, this right here is the software that it supports. This is for the freestyle and it supports um, or has been tested on version 2.2. It might work on other versions but this is what what it's been tested on. And if you do want to discuss it on the forum you can simply click on this or middle click to open a new tab and then it'll bring you right to the forums for that theme. 
Um, you can like certain themes. Uh, there's a download and tweet about the theme. You can also click on this title. I don't know if many people know that, but if you click on that, it'll bring it to this big page. Um, you can go ahead and add Facebook comments to it. You can see further information. Um, you can click to view the user. You can send them a private message. Um, once again, discuss the theme on the forums and download. Um, anytime you click on it, it'll show a bigger version of it. Um, so you can see it in more detail. And it'll also show other themes from that same person, uh, which you can click on those titles as well. And it has the pop-ups. Um, so that's pretty much the themes section there. Um, let's go back over to the admin and messages. So from here, it's your own little private message. Um, you can pose a new message and find someone to send one to. Um, there's the friend, there's the site admin you can send messages to. Um, or if you type in someone such as my own, you can add it to the friends list. Send it, and you're done. No hard feelings. And there you go. There is another key. Keys are very simple. You basically just have to use the site. Um, let's go ahead and go to the scent. You can see what has been sent out and if it's been read or not. This one, of course, has not been read. And you can go in to read it. The friends, um, when we sent it, we added myself to the friends list by that checkbox. And now he shows up in our friends list. So if we compose new, we can simply choose them from the friend and not have to type it in every time. Um, also be aware, if you type in a name here and you choose one here, um, I believe it's going to choose the one from the friend. Um, so if you're not wanting to choose a friend, make sure that is blank when you're typing in the to field. Let me go ahead and check my messages here and send one to myself. All right, it, the system will check for new messages every 15 seconds, I believe. Um, as you're browsing the site, if you get a new message, it'll this will pop up. Um, you can click on here to read the message or OK to dismiss it. If you're on the forums, it'll simply show up right here. There won't be a pop-up. So let's go ahead and go back to one of these pages. And then once again, it's every 15 seconds that it checks for new messages, so we just kind of have to wait. There it is, so let's go ahead and click to view it. And there we go. You can simply reply, or you can delete the message. And there we go. Okay, um, so the messages, my profile is basically the same as clicking on admin, it'll take you to the same place. And then the support page is the same. Um, basically, the only thing that changes when you log in is the keys, the resources, and the admin. Um, the forum will also automatically log you in. Once, the, once you log into the website, you will be logged into the forum as well. So that pretty much covers it. Um, if you do have a, a theme that you want to add to the website, go ahead and click on the, or not click, but just hover over the admin and go to add theme. You can go ahead and type in a theme name. And then choose the software that it supports. Software version, uh, preview image, the theme, if it's adult theme, and then add it. Um, once it's added, it will be created in that uh, themes forum.
for your software. So for instance, if you add a freestyle one, it'll show up under the themes and the freestyle dashboard forms. You can manage your themes by simply going to manage themes. So once you add them, they will show up in here um, and then you can adjust them, update them or whatever. Now when you're on the forum, if you go to the forum link, it'll have this new pop-up for the user control panel and this is kind of where you can see your username, uh, registration date, stuff like that. Then you can edit your signature and your avatar for the forums um, or your certain options for the forum as well. I have really limited the options over here on the side just because it is integrated with my main website uh, so I just try to make things as simple as possible. Um, that should cover everything. Um, in this drop down on home you can visit the Wii site or the PS3 site for the um, themes for those and basically these are the exact same um, has the information, shows how many Wii themes um, the users and um, here's the polls now that we're logged in we can actually vote on these uh, so you can choose what one you want and then vote and then this has the same recent themes, most downloaded, etc. And over here on the themes, we can go ahead and see the different themes available. It still has the pop-up. And you can click on these titles as well. So basically between all of these sites, everything is very similar. Um, the resources are the exact same. They just have the different layout for that site. Um, the forums are laid out the exact same way. So when you add themes, it'll go under the correct section. Also, the shout box um, is the same for all of these websites. So basically, right here in parentheses, it shows what site you're on. Um, so if you're on the Xbox one, it'll show you as Xbox. Uh, the Wii site shows up as Wii, and the PS3 one shows as PS3. So whatever you're logged into will show right there. Um, the support page is the exact same for all of them and the admin has the same options except for on the Wii site you do have an image manager. Now on this one you can choose um, some image that you want to use. Let's go ahead and do this one. So this is useful if you want to share an image with someone else um, or just have it here for storage. And then you can have your URL here or your form code so you can share the image with other people. If you do want to view other people what they have uploaded just click on view others and here we have a big list of people that have uploaded stuff. So let's go ahead and go into say this one and then you can easily see what this person has uploaded. So anyway that's a good way to simply just if you want to share an image throw it up here temporarily and send someone the link and they can go and view it or download it or anything like that. Now by default you can only upload five images at a time um, so you'll want to delete some after you reach that max and you can just delete it right here. And I believe that's all that's different. Um, they each have their own different website themes so this is the default Wii one. You can also choose a Mario one and a few others. So here's the Mario. Um, there's a Zelda one, USB loader GX. So it just depends on your preference. This also has the at work option um, with your work IP in there and it'll change to the at work which looks the exact same as the other sites. So there you go. And then again the PS3 one, the same um, the links for the site updates or the PlayStation 3 news, there's the resources, the themes for the different PS3 software they can upload to. And a lot of these, like the resources, it just shares the exact same code, so all the same images are going to show here. And you have the forum, 
for the PS3. The admin. This one doesn't have too many different themes, but if you don't like how dark this is, you can choose a light version. Which is basically the same, it's just a little bit lighter. And the at work option as well. And again, the same support page. So there you have it. Um, feel free to play around on here, add some themes, join us in the forum. Um, each of these sites have a help me thread. So if you need to get started and you have questions, go ahead and, and pop in here and, and post a new topic um, of what you want to do and people will respond and try and help you out. So I believe that does it. Um, if you do have any questions or suggestions, please contact us. Um, through the forums and let us know.